what's up how's everyone doing welcome to your bliss asana flow today's class is going to be a huge focus on opening up the chest as well as stretching those hip flexors it will be a total body release of tension as we use yoga blocks to help support ourselves through our practice today. So if you just grab two blocks and we'll go ahead and get started at the top of our mat for a little bit of a warm up. Ground down into the mat. Spread your toes nice and wide, open up the palms and let your gaze fall shut for just a moment. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, sigh, let everything else go. Another deep inhale in through the belly, filling up all the air you can. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Awesome. You can open up your eyes. And we're going to start by grabbing our blocks and putting them out in front of us on the highest, tallest setting. So bringing them right out in front of the body. And feet can be a little bit more than hip width apart. We're gonna hinge at the waist, lift up through the core here, just to make sure you're not dumping into the back and grab the tops of the block. We're gonna start to just rock forward and back onto the balls of the feet. So moving with your own breath here, in and out through the nose and continuously lifting up through your core. So pressing into the toes, pushing back onto the heels. So let's just continue this for a few moments, continuing to squeeze the core at your own pace with your breath. Awesome job. Great job. And so now we're gonna hold here and come into this halfway lift. Hands can plan onto the blocks, gaze forward, nice flat back. Find an inhale. And on your exhale, bend your knees and release to however it feels good onto your blocks. Maybe your elbows come down and your forehead releases. Whatever feels good for you today. You can adjust the blocks in whatever way you need to into this forward fold. Excellent job. And on your next inhale, rise into that halfway lift, supported by the blocks. Finding an inhale. And on your exhale, we're gonna really grip those blocks nice and carefully, and gently step back onto the balls of the feet into a supported plank. Press the earth away with your hands, hold here, lift up through the core. Great job. And then step both feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend through the knees, release the head, neck, and shoulders. Awesome job. Bend through the knees, scoop through the core, lift the arms all the way up. Finding a few circles with the arms. Awesome. And on your next inhale, reach all the way up to the sky. Palms can come together, gaze up. Awesome. Exhale to forward fold, back down, releasing into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And on your exhale, take it back, supported by the blocks, into a plank for a moment and gently drop down onto the knees. So you can come on into Gamakasana with the right knee down, bending through that right leg and stacking the left knee on top into this open face cow pose. If your left knee doesn't wanna stack directly on top of the right and it's a little bit over to the side, just don't worry about it, but get it as close to it as you can and that feels good for you and your body. We're gonna take the 
block and put it right outside of your left foot on the right side of your body. You can adjust this however you need to, but I'm gonna start it with my blocks double stacked on their highest setting. Uh, I tested this out earlier and this allowed me to do this stretch here without over straining or over stretching through the right side of my body here. So we're gonna inhale the arms reach all the way up and on your exhale, interlace your hands. Take them back behind your head. Open up the chest. Nice. Find a nice inhale here. And on your exhale, gently bring the right elbow down. So check in, see if you like where the blocks are positioned. If you need to stretch a little bit further, you can just remove one of the blocks if you want. And if this feels good for you, start to send your gaze up to that left shoulder. This is a wonderful opener for your chest. Find a deep breath in. Exhale out. And inhale to come up through center. So what I love about this stretch is not only are you opening the chest, but you're feeling that stretch to the hips a little bit more passively. So I'm gonna bring the brocks over to the right foot on the left side of the body. Stack them to where it feels good for you. Might be different on this side, so you can always adjust it. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, take to interlacing those hands behind the back. Grow nice and tall. Find a deep breath in. And on your exhale, we'll just take a nice tilt over. Great job. Send your gaze up to that right shoulder, opening up through the chest. And feeling it maybe all the way through that right hip, all the way up through the side of your fascia. Maybe even feeling a nice stretch for the right shoulder. Breathe deeply in. And exhale out. Excellent. We'll inhale to come back up through center. Removing the blocks for just a moment, maybe placing them to the sides. Take your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Any intention you have for your practice today, for your day ahead, go ahead and breathe into your heart space, breathe into your chest. Send yourself some release there in that space, some gentleness, some softening. Awesome. And let's take the blocks out in front of us, or maybe at least one block. You can bring both if you want, maybe double stack. Inhale, the arms reach up. And on your exhale, we'll bring the blocks maybe a little bit closer and just drop down onto the elbows for a second. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. Holding here for a moment. And inhale to come back up. We're gonna release out of this position and give ourselves a little bit of a full body stretch. So bringing the blocks out in front of you, placing them on their lower setting. Placing the hands nice and flat onto the blocks. First, we'll come into tabletop position with wrist stacked directly underneath the shoulders. Find an inhale as you arch the spine and gaze forward. Exhale, press the earth away and round chin to chest. Inhale forward. Exhale to round. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and tuck the toes. Come into a plank for just a second, find an inhale, and exhale into the supported down dog. There's nothing I love more than this posture with blocks. Feel free to stretch through the feet, left to right, getting a little comfortable here. Notice how you feel with the support of the blocks. Find a deep breath in. Exhale out. Beautiful. And coming down back onto your knees. We're gonna bring the 
walk over to the right side for a second. Plant your right hand down onto your block. You can actually put it right on the outside of the right side of your mat. Step your left foot forward like you're in your low lunge. Right hand plants, left foot's forward. Left arm stretches up towards the sky. Really great stretch for your right hip flexor. Gaze up to left hand. Excellent. And just finding a few movements with the left arm up and down with your breath. You know, we don't like to keep it just static here with bliss asana. We like to keep it moving, keep everything flowing, just like the breath in and out through the nose. Really opening up through the chest and the shoulder each time. Next inhale, reach left arm all the way up. Great job. And on your exhale, let's go ahead and grab both blocks. Put them at their highest setting to try. Place them right in line with your left ankle and then maybe scoot them back just a little bit, framing that left foot, find an inhale. And on your exhale, let's take it back. Left heel is grounded onto the mat. Left toes flex up towards the sky. Feel free to move the blocks to wherever you get the most support. Inhale to lift up with the heart. Exhale to fold. Finding your flow with that for a moment. Next inhale, holding at the top, and exhale to fold and hold. Breathe here. Excellent job. And gently bend back into that high lunge. The blocks are supporting you, so really grip them nice and tightly. Tuck the back toe, and we're gonna lift up into pyramid pose. So with pyramid, left toes are forward, right toes are out towards the side. Legs are straight as they can be here. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale to fold and hold right here in your pyramid pose. Breathing here. Release the head, neck, and shoulders. Excellent work, very good. Beautiful job. And we're gonna gently take it back down onto that right knee. For a moment, we'll let the blocks help stabilize us, and then we'll inhale to bring the arms all the way up. Great job. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Breathe into your heart space. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to twist over, gaze over left shoulder. Nice. Inhale to take it back forward and bring both knees down to the mat. Great. All right, so bringing the blocks back forward again and stepping that right foot out in front of you. We'll start with a nice um, low lunge, ground down through the right foot, arms reach all the way up on your inhale. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale into your heart space. And exhale, hook left elbow to right thigh, gaze over right shoulder. Check in that the tops of those back toes are pressed down into the mat. If you can, breathe here. And exhale out, grabbing the blocks at their highest setting, scooting them back a little bit, right in line with that right knee. Find an inhale. And on your exhale, taking it back to supported half splits. Check in that those right toes are flexed up towards the sky. Inhale to lift up through the heart. Exhale to fold. Holding here for a moment, breathing. On your next inhale, we'll come back through into low lunge. Really press those blocks down into the mat for support and tuck the back toe to lift up into pyramid opposite side. So left toes are coming out to 45 degrees, right toes are forward. Blocks can come wherever it feels good for you, so probably in the middle here. Inhale to press up through the heart, 
Exhale to fold back down. Release the head, neck, and shoulders. Shake it out. Straighten the legs as much as you can and breathe here. Excellent work. And on your next inhale, wherever you are, we're gonna come long ways on the mat and bring both blocks out in front. So find a nice wide leg straddle position. Legs are nice and wide. Toes are both out towards the side. We're gonna bring the blocks out in front of us and inhale to come into a halfway lift with a flat back. Exhale, fold. Maybe you bring the elbows down onto the mat. Maybe you'd like to bring the thumbs to your third eye space if you wanna connect with your intuitive center. Wherever you are, just rock forward on the balls of the feet a little bit and release into this pose. Keeping the breath moving. The deeper the breath, the deeper the bliss, I like to say. <laughs> so just keep that breath moving, ujjayi, in and out through the nose, supporting yourself. inhale coming back into halfway lift and this time we're gonna sit up for a nice heart opener so we're gonna bring right toes forward left toes come out to the side and the blocks are gonna just help us in this pose so triangle pose without the blocks a lot of times what happens is people want to get down low with that left hand so the chest collapses and we're not able to get that heart opener that's really available here. So the blocks are gonna help us do that and help it make it more accessible so we don't have to close down on the heart. So we'll start by just stacking both. That might be way too high for you, but let's just start there and bring the left hand there. And remember, right toes are out to the side, left toes are in the opposite direction. We're gonna inhale to open up through the arm, open up through the chest, send your gaze up to the right hand. Breathing here and exhaling out. So now you can experiment and see if you need that second block. So if you don't need the other one, just putting it down and go ahead and drop that left hand down. Inhale to reach right arm up towards the sky and by sending that gaze up to the right hand, you can keep your heart nice and open. Holding here. Take in a deep breath in and exhaling out. You always have the option to remove the block, but in today's practice, I think that extra support is always appreciated, even if you don't normally use it. Finding one more breath in here, and exhale out. We'll switch to the opposite side so you can decide to bring both blocks or one block over. See what feels good for you on this side. Maybe you have the other guy on standby. <laughs> so let's this time start with our arms teed out. Take an inhale, and on your exhale, going down to whatever block setting you want. Again, making sure chest isn't collapsed out at all. Bring that left arm up towards the sky. Stay open through the heart. Breathe up and gaze up to that left hand. The bliss is in the breath, keeping that breath flowing. Finding another inhale. And on your exhale, we'll come back through center using the blocks for support again because when do we get to use them? Sometimes we forget them and don't have them in our practice. So I'd say let's go for it. Let's drop that left knee down to the mat. And we're gonna set up for a couple final heart openers. So first we're gonna come into a supported puppy pose with the blocks down onto the mat, long ways and forward. We're gonna bring the palms of the hands down onto the blocks and come into a tabletop first with the knees on the ground. Take an inhale and on your exhale, we're gonna just um, press the blocks forward a little bit if you need to. And effectively, you want the forehead onto the mat, the elbows lifted up off the mat, and the hips can stay lifted into the air. So make any adjustments you want. Maybe bring the knees together if that makes the pose easier. So that might feel good for you. We're just gonna hold here and breathe.
finding your breath, noticing the chest opening, the heart opening here. One more breath here. And exhale out. Gently slide the blocks a little bit closer. Right, you can make some adjustments here again, but we're gonna bring the elbows down to the blocks now. Bring the palms together. And we're just gonna find a nice movement here. Maybe the head rests onto the blocks and the palms come back behind you. So same idea as before. This time we're just not gonna have the chest melting down to the mat. We're gonna keep the forehead onto the blocks for a minute. So a big stretch for the tricep. Find a deep breath in. And exhale out. And now we are going to go ahead and try it with maybe the chest onto the mat. So maybe bring the blocks together and set yourself up first by bringing um, the forehead down to the earth, maybe trying to get the chest down, bringing the elbows onto the blocks, finding an inhale and exhale, taking the hands back behind you. You can always back off if this is too much for you in your body today. Holding here, this is very intense, so maybe we just hold it for three, two, and one. Release down, lifting ourselves back up. Excellent job. Bringing the blocks to the side for a minute. We're gonna lie all the way down onto the belly. Ground down onto your elbows, palms of the hands pressed down into the mat. Tops of the feet can press down into the mat as well. And we'll inhale, gaze up. Out. Nice job. Pressing actively the elbows down into the mat. We'll just take the toes right to left for a second, finding a little bit of movement and circulation through the lower body. Awesome. Great job. All right, and we'll press the hands down to the mat. We'll set up for our final pose of today's class come to a seated position at first. We're gonna bring the block right underneath the, the spine here. So we're gonna set up. First, we'll come into our bridge normally just to kind of get a feel for it. So we're gonna lower down all the way down to the mat. And we'll take a regular bridge pose first. So find a nice inhale. And on your exhale, press up through the hips. If your block is nearby, you can slide it underneath, place it underneath the base of your spine here. Excellent job. And feel that release through the hips. Great job. Keep pressing actively into the feet and hold here as you just notice tension melt from the low back. Finding a deep breath in here. Excellent. And then we're going to remove the block and just lower everything down to the mat. Hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself the biggest hug. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. We're going to stack the right ankle on top of the left thigh and go ahead and pull that left knee in with your hands. Find a deep breath in here as we stretch that right hip one more time here. Breathing in. Exhaling out. And then we're just going to switch it out opposite side. Sometimes you don't have to be there for that long to get that, um, to actually feel really good in the body and to make an impact. So we're going to flex through those left toes, grabbing the right knee, pulling right knee in, flexing left toes, hold here. Finding your breath. Great job. And then lowering everything down to the mat for your final Shavasana. Allow the gaze to fall shut and palms to come up to the sky. We're just gonna hold here for a few blissful moments where all you can hear and feel is the sound of the music, the sound of your breath, and the sound of your environment. Allow everything else to just melt away.
breath in together, breathing all the way in. Exhale, sigh out, let everything go. Awesome, and rolling onto one side into a fetal position briefly, and gently taking yourself up to a seated position to end today's practice. Arms are gonna reach all the way up to the sky on your inhale. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Breathe into your heart space. Send yourself so much love for showing up today. I thank you for practicing with me, for blissing out with me, and just showing up here on this channel and supporting. It means so much to me to have this squad, to really be able to do this work together on the mat. So can't wait till next week. Make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a practice and just to let me know if you like this video and what kind of worked for you. I hope you have a blissful rest of your day. Thank you so much.